Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, it's fun time. So I really like the snow region. You know, you got your elemental stuff here, the lizzles, the bats. I like the ice fruit, you know, they're all over the place here. There's uh, just all sorts of goodies. Uh, Karak seeds, you name it. Alright, so just to kind of show you what we're going to be doing here. I'm going right for this tower. Go ahead and pin it. And I'm going to get the map activated. So there's a grade. You can't quite get your horse up it. Okay, it's just not going to go up there. I thought I had it there, but eh, I wanted to try it from a different angle this time, and it's just not working out. And that's okay. Alright guys, so our tower is way up top side here. So you already see the bubble, whatever that thing is, the blue piece sitting there. Pretty good indication, you know, we got something going on. Alright guys, this cave entrance is real tough to see. That's where that ice block is that I melted. It's like right down from there. And it's a real tough, you know, real skinny thing. You really got to be looking right in it to even know it's there. So I just kind of wanted to point that out from that ice block. And just for frame of reference, our tower is like right up above me. See, I'm going to do it. I'm going to just, you know, change my mind. I'm going to go ahead and do this cave raid now. Reason being is I really want to get that bubble gem stuff going with Colton. Kilton's brother, I think. Okay, we got some baddies in here. Nothing too high threat so far. So if anybody wants long throw, it is right here for the taking. Okay, now notice that little walkway down there. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. So once again, if anybody wants long throw, this cave is full of them. Alright, so heading back down now to where I was saying that walkway goes. Now there are some free lootables kind of on the way down. So, you know, if you want your stuff, go ahead and, you know, feel free to scoop them up. Now there is an elemental like-like in here. And just use the opposite effect. And that usually takes care of them pretty easy. Okay, something's angry with me. Ah, Tulin, you did it. Okay, one cool thing about this cave is that updraft. But he brought them to me, so I guess I can't show you what I would have done. Normally I would have gotten some cheeky damage in from this updraft with a long distance bow. Just wasn't meant to be, and that's okay. Wow, look at all the goodies.
I didn't intentionally try to use a stall knock smasher on a freaking ore node there, but you know, sometimes it happens. Huh. Okay, we are not yet done with this cave. Go ahead and scoop up your lootables. So I should be completely out of fairies now. Completely out of fairies. Okay guys, so this is one of those funny caves that's like two caves and they connect. And I haven't gotten the bubble frog yet, so you know, that'll be on the way back. But, um, so just like in Breath of the Wild, guys, I like to do this one via fire. So, you know, that kind of gets them stunned. You can get up there way all away. But that being said, I'm going to arm up, suit up, and eat up for this one. Because I want to get them dead very, very quickly once I do get up there. That thing's about to break, so hopefully it'll break on him and I'll get my double damage. Okay, maybe I need to wake him up first. Okay, there. So once the arms are done, then you can get up there. Oh, there it goes. I got my double damage. Wish granted. Let's get rid of that. Wow, toasted two weapons on that dude. That one's got some use on it too. Might as well just get rid of them. I didn't realize all of those were quite that low. Alright, so yeah, uh, I kind of forgot about that. Honestly, it's been a long time since I fought one of these. Probably not since my first or second playthrough. So, um, yeah, you gotta shoot them with fire not only on the body, but you also gotta get them on the uh, arms as well. Oh, and check this out, guys. Frost Talus Heart. Now, it's not as fun as... Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to compare the two. Okay, so it's it's comparable to the rare stone talus heart. The difference is this will do the ice damage. So, you know, not bad. Okay, guys, so if you want to know where the crystal belongs, let's go ahead and talk to it. I'm really going out of my way now as to what I wanted to really do in this video. But you know, that's what tends to happen when you're doing free-for-all. The good thing is, is we don't have to walk terribly far with this thing. I know we don't have the snow boots yet, and that's kind of nuisancey. So I do appreciate them not making us run all over Hyrule for this particular spot. Not a bad treasure chest. Yeah, you know, shrines, that's another thing I'm going to start going a little bit more out of my way for. Uh, I really want folks to have the, the stamina, you know, the heart containers that they want, that they need. Uh, you know, I really just wanted to dive right into Gerudo. Like, I, I, I could almost taste it. And I was like, you know what, no, we're, we're kind of missing some stuff here. The super suits, you know, that was kind of feeling like it was a problem. The, uh, the heart containers and stamina, you know... Uh, amongst other things, like that Zelda quest, there's going to be, you know, we've already been running into Glimpse, but, uh, you know, it's just only getting worse from here, so... Yeah, as part of the snow region, actually, there's a Glimpse that we're going to hit on the way for another memory. Or whatever it's called in this game, you know, the... the tele teleportation, telekinesis, time-traveling memories. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice little hiding spot there for that one. Oh, 
Boy, I'm going through all sorts of bows and weapons on this video. Ah, oh, nuts. Two pieces of flint from a luminous stone node. That just made my day right there. Alright guys, now from here I could go ahead and ascend up. And that would be a real quick and easy way to get to our sky tower. Okay, once you're topside you've got the altitude you need to actually fly straight down there. Now, that's tempting. I need those captain horns because I'm starting to work on that zonite suit. So yeah, guys, I am going to kind of sidestep for some of these here moving forward for that reason. So that's another thing we're going to be doing here pretty soon. And I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to tie it all in yet. But, um, you know, in addition to the glimpse stuff, uh, I am going to hit this. You know, the Lost Fortress or whatever that's called, the Forsaken Temple forgotten something I don't know whatever it is um, yeah so we're gonna hit that and again I don't know exactly where when that's gonna be but I want to do that soon uh, so it might actually even be right after this video right after I get this towering at the map and then once you know we run through that that's you know more storyline again you know especially for first-time players I, I think that's important to hit earlier in the game so, you know, there's a whole thing there where the goddess statue is broken. Um, yeah, so that, that's probably something we need to do now. Uh, you know, in addition to that, I really want to finish the Zonite set. And guys, I know it's going to be a little bit out of the way, but if you remember in Breath of the Wild, I kind of did the same thing. Uh, when it was time to go to the Croc Forest and go find Hestu, I didn't dilly-dally. I didn't wait for this, that, and the other. We got on the horse from this stable right here. We rode, you know, this way and just kind of let the horse take us all the way up there into, the, you know, the Akela region slash foothill stable area. And I did the exact same thing for the Croc Forest. I think for that one, we rode the horse past that same stable going the other way. You know, it's kind of, you know, let the horse take us straight there. So anyway, um, you know, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to hit some towers on the way. And then we're going to be in good shape for hitting the Sky Islands where that final piece resides. Once I've got that in hand, now that we've got three great fairy fountains, folks can really decide, you know, what they do and don't want to upgrade. But, you know, honestly, folks, the Zonite Sit, you absolutely want to get that up to the second level. And that's kind of why I wanted to take a quick minute to talk about where this is going. So, um, you know, that really helps us out with Zonite devices. That really opens things up. You know, it's just more fun. And, you know, those crystallized charges are great, or, you know, the, the large, actually not crystallized charge, the large charge are great, but, you know, it's not a, it's not a bottomless well either. So, yeah, I just kind of felt like it was time to get that super suit going a little bit. Uh, not only that, you know, we're going to be doing some more depths work too, especially, with, I'm going to tie all that in with Gerudo, guys. Gerudo is so much fun, especially, you know, the, the, the mainland, but also the depths. So, uh, yeah, we're going to tie all that in at that time. But uh, just kind of wanted to get that out there so that you guys have some kind of idea where stuff is going. And, of course, there will be caves and, you know, Karak seeds and all the, all the normal fun stuff, too, along the way. All right, so dive right in here. So offline, when I was, you know, realizing Cinnamon had died, R.I.P. Cinnamon... I went off and I got another five star speedster and while I was doing that I wanted to grab that silver Lionel since you know I had a blood moon or so uh, since the last time I had killed him so yeah I got amped up I got another bow so I've got you know three of those five shot bursts now which is insane and then that one is finally dying you know I got my, my silver Lionel horn and all the the normal stuff that comes with that Oh, those things are beefy. 
I really like those horns for tipping weapons, but the Zonite suit's more important to me right now. And honestly, I don't know if you need four just to get up to the second level. I, I mean, I'm not sure about that anymore. I think that's only if you want to be, go beyond second level. But because I'm not sure, I'm going to hold off on that for just a moment. But yeah, normally if I've got like a, a handle, you know, for a real good attack power up, Zonite, anything, I normally will put that Captain Four horn on it. Really gives it a good boost. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the Skyview Tower video. There's really not much to this one. Unfortunately, there's just not much around here. Um, I am going to open up the map though before I conclude video. Alright, so I just shot myself out of the cannon like the circus. Now there's a Hudson puzzle out here somewhere. And before I, you know, let you guys go, I want to make that a part of the the tower video here. Just because it's close, it's not super close, but it's, you know, ish. And since there's literally nothing else to do here, I figured I'd, I'd include a Karak seed that's over here and that Hudson puzzle as well. Now that Karak seed's a bit tricky. So I honestly can't remember if this one's above or below. Okay, he's above and wants to go below. So that's not as bad as I thought. For some reason in my mind, I had it the other way. No, I had it right. He's below and he wants to go above. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is where I love my planes. It's usually the easiest way to get them up there. And I know I start going through a lot of Zonite stuff, but that kind of gets back to why I want to get the suit taken care of. Now you can do this whole thing with this bridge. Okay, so essentially what you could do here is you could glue all of these things together and it's going to be rigid. They're not going to want to bend, but that's okay. The ones that bend are going to be at the base here and at the top there. So you can actually build a bridge to, you know, get it across. It's just time consuming. Uh, so, you know, I just personally like to whip the plane out, but I thought I should kind of, you know, show that uh, for folks that maybe don't want to do it that way. I am getting dangerously low on control sticks. Doing okay on everything else, just the control sticks. Alright guys, so, you know, this is me and my, my go-to for just about all these types of Karak seeds. It's quick, it's easy, I love the flying, you know, it's fun. So, but again, you know, I understand everybody's not going to want to do that. So, I just kind of set this thing up here. And that rocket should be just good enough to get us, you know, up in the air a bit. So this is where that Zonite suit would be nice to have. But, you know, this one's close enough. We're good to go. Okay, so again, you don't have to actually disembark him. You just have to get him close. And the game takes the rest. All right, guys, so that's our Karoxy. Now, that Hudson puzzle, I believe that's down below, but before I jump down below, I want to make sure. I'm pretty confident about where I have my pen. Yeah, he's definitely up top side. Alright guys, so I know that looks funky, <laughs> but um, it's going to do the job because that thing is going to want to fall literally every direction. So um, the only way I've really been able to find to do this one successfully is brace it with an underneath plank. And so these metal things really aren't even doing anything. They're really just there to support the wooden pieces. And then of course I've got the other one standing up to catch it from falling backwards. Okay, as long as you got it blocked and braced, you are good to go. Guys, and there you have it. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, and comment. As always, much appreciated. Folks, best of luck to you guys, and happy hunting.